down and honestly Aviva's positioned himself on ultimate height just a layer above wow. that the tag from Aviv really putting on the flex here showcasing seven eliminations now what a position to be in here meanwhile the low ground everyone continuing to fight here Muzz just getting to work finding his fourth elimination and a top three now and Quanti and Jacko fo focus their efforts to high ground this is perfect for Muzz down low ground but the problem right now, Yapko, he has exactly zero builds left. He's trying to hope for a chop opportunity, but he still has to worry about the soul underneath him. It's Muzz. Muzz trying to go for the even exchange, scrambling around the bottom, but he's going to find himself with a third place finish. And now, Booga dropping from above, an eagle from his perch, waiting for the right moment to strike. Booga and Aviv. Well, so nobody panic. Everything's chill. Uh, 101 points on Aviv and over on Booga. One more time, just trying to crash pad his way to safety, but it's not going to be enough. Pars and Baka, though, they've successfully overthrown High Clicks and Veno. The moment that they swap, they wanted to try and catch up with the rest of the pack. They find themselves more towards the front side of zone. Clicks just tarping through these uncontested layers momentarily though and Benno looks like he was at least able to scrap together some pieces but no instantly dropped Baka has come into the mix from out of nowhere that drop from above Benno just never had a chance to see it coming yeah and Kanata landed his tag too from the low ground but Ager's gonna finish off Kanata and Ager's is playing such good Fortnite right now not only did he clutch up last game to pull in the points but he did well this game and now Baka and Pars get to secure themselves their first three point difference between Buga and Vivin. A miraculous game given they were so low on the standings. This was a huge game for Team Osid. It's also a huge pickup there from Rapid, still lingering. Seek, on the other hand, he's going to knock a V. And now oh. Buga left to scramble, oh but Seek's not going to let him escape his sights. Huge play coming out of Seek and Dash now. Nine eliminations as well. Underneath their belts is Baka. Drops one more time. He gets the credit onto Trashy's Elim. Not only that, extends a little bit more time, a little bit more space, but they want to drop. They want to challenge threats directly. The writing was on the wall for Baka and Pars. The moment they took high ground, the moment this zone played out the way it did, it just made sense that someone like them could win this game. But hold up, mistakes were made. Attack comes through and Baka now. Very hurt, one tag to win it all and he finds it via playing offensively and that got a little too close for comfort but in the end they do it once they look good yeah i'm looking at my from the semis into the finals now victor v and paper are at five eliminations holding high ground right now and have several hundred material meanwhile here is mr savage here alive and well five eliminations for the pair but he is barely holding on here. Peterbot is just cleaning up house, takes down Mordecai by himself into the top five, by himself, still doing it, still running through. At the same time, Peterbot, he might even be doing paper and Victor V a favor, re and ritual. They're not gonna join the mix on the low ground. Yamzo Tayson trying to break through these builds, but they're getting tagged up from every direction. Yamzo even opting, I'm just gonna play for the med kits at this point. Tayson doing what he can keep tarping forward staying next to his duo as much as possible but it's re it's ritual they're gonna be the ones still holding strong on the low ground paper and victor v on the other hand they have all the advantages here on height yeah but their auto maps now have to come down here the hand cannon was a miss but the tag was beautiful for paper and victor v does so much damage in the end that the storm will close it out for him and do the rest there and that's gonna be an eight elimination game an eight elimination as a duo to the box of bolts and takes them out these are just points being racked up here and that is going to be the difference maker that's going to allow them to really snatch up the first place spot at the moment it's also just a little bit more material that's something they desperately needed at that point Poyo running thin as well as far as the builds are concerned but Venno doing everything in his power to just try and clutch up one more spot also Caught wind, Muzz and Epic Whale, they're in the low ground as well. It's only Peterbot and Oyo that are left to try and fend everything back, but Muzz and Epic just clean up crew from the baseline. They can turn this one in their favor. Definitely winnable right now, but Peterbot's gonna take the first attack from the side. Boyo's there too, he's gonna find a tag onto Muzz and Epic Whale. 
and then they close it out with a nine elimination victory. It shows on the leaderboard, obviously. They want Pars and Baka to be distracted. They're looking for actually approaching from behind. I don't think Baka and Pars are ever going to see this coming. Peter Baca oh. goes overhead, overshoots the jump, though. But Boyo's got it. At least he he ends up foiling the plan of Pars and Baca there. I love that play from the side of the zone there. Very, very smart. And now Bryson Bolts have been gifted high ground here due to the collateral damage. They find Kanata on the way up. Cooper gets finished as well. And Bryson Bolts steal away the Victor Royale. But talk about so good for